The file template we created for our MediaWiki module requires certain variables to be set. Right now, those variables are set in our nodes manifest, but we need to get them out of there. But where do we put them? Well, generally, the best place for module-specific variable assignments is in the module itself. So how does Hira fit in with modules? Well, take a look at this. We have our familiar variables, wiki site name, wiki server, and so on, but look at the assignments. We have a function, Hira, an open parenthesis, and media wiki double colon and the variable name in single quotes. Now what on earth is this? Well these values within parentheses, media wiki double colon and the variable name are actually keys. You may have heard the term key value pair. Key value pairs are similar to variable assignments, it's just that instead of setting a puppet variable equal to a particular value, you set a key equal to a particular value. Conceptually it's the same thing. When Puppet encounters a Hira function call with a key, it does a lookup on that key to retrieve the value associated with it. So where does it look? Well, it's going to look in a text file, specifically a text file in YAML or YAML format. YAML is a simple language that is used to define key value pairs. When used with Hira, these YAML files are called data sources. Now here's where it gets interesting. We can actually have several of these YAML files. And each of these files can actually, if we want it to, contain the same keys, but with different values. So this raises an obvious question. If we have multiple files with overlapping keys, how then does Puppet know which keys to use? Well, it consults the Hira configuration file, which is located by default at forward slash etsy slash puppet slash hira dot yaml. Let's take a look at this file. It starts with the word backends in between colons, which is a label and underneath that it says space space dash space YAML. This just means we're going to use YAML for our higher data as opposed to a different type of data structure. The next line with the label YAML followed by data dir in between colons indicates where our YAML files are stored. Here there's no directory listed so it's going to use the default which is forward slash var slash lib slash hira. Now the next part under hierarchy is the part we're most interested in. This is how Puppet decides which YAML files to use. If you look here, we actually have a list. It's a short list, but a list nonetheless. The first item in the list is double quote, percent, open curly brace, client cert, close curly brace, double quote. The next item is wiki default. These actually represent file names which end with the .yaml or .yaml extension. When Puppet does a higher lookup, it starts at the top of this list and checks the first file. Okay, now you might be thinking double quote percent open curly brace and all that is not a valid file name. It's actually a variable. Client cert is a variable containing the host name of the node that runs the Puppet agent. So suppose the Puppet agent runs on the wiki server. The client cert name, the host name, is also wiki. So Puppet will look for a wiki.yaml file and it will check that for higher data. Where will it find the wiki.yaml file? In the default directory, which is forward slash var slash lib slash hira. Okay, but what if Puppet doesn't find the data it's looking for in that file? Well, then it will go down to wiki default and check the wiki default.yaml file. In other words, hira data is effectively kept in a hierarchy, hence the name hira. Okay, before we go too far into this, let's go to the Puppet Master, modify our init.pp manifest, and then create the hira.yaml configuration file. Let's go ahead and open up our modules init.pp manifest, sudo nano etsy puppet environments production modules media wiki manifest init.pp. And let's scroll down to the top of the class definition. Indent two spaces here. And we'll start with wiki meta namespace equals hira open parenthesis single quote media wiki double colons and then wiki meta namespace single colon and a close parenthesis. Go to the next line. We'll do wiki site name. And same thing here. Wiki server.
And what I'm going to do, and what you can also do in the interest of time, since we're doing some repetition here, we can actually copy this section of the text to our clipboard here. And then we can just paste it in when we get to this point. So we'll try that now. The next one is wikidb server. And I'm going to go ahead and paste in this portion. wikidb name wikidb user wikidb password and finally wiki upgrade key Now, please take your time with this. Go back when you're done and double check everything. Make sure you spelled everything correctly because otherwise you'll have to go back and do some troubleshooting on your own. Once you have this, go ahead and save this file. And next, we want to edit hira.yaml. So we'll do sudo nano etsy puppet hira.yaml. And we'll do a colon, type back ins, plural. Move to the next line, indent two spaces, and type a dash, and then one space, and then YAML for YAML. YAML requires at least one space at the beginning of the line, but we'll put two spaces here since we're used to indenting by two. Go to the next line, colon, YAML, colon, next line, two spaces, another colon, and data dir, another colon, next line, colon, hierarchy, colon, and that's spelled H-I-E-R-A-R-C-H-Y, next line, two spaces and a dash, double quote, percent sign, open curly brace, client cert, all one word and all lowercase, close curly brace, and double quote. Next line, two spaces and another dash, and then wiki default, all one word, all lowercase, but this time not in quotes. Now, once you have this, double check everything, go ahead and save this file, and that's it.